Okay. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Mariana. I work at Amazon managing the services for Prometheus. We launched our service last year, and over this time, as we scale our service, the deployments start to take too long, uh, slowing down the release of new features and bug fixes. So today I'm going to talk about the internals of our service and how we speed up deployments to, uh, without impacting availability. Our service uses Cortex, uh, which provides a long-term storage solution for Prometheus metrics. Uh, Cortex is designed as a set of microservices, and uh, in on large installations, a common problem are the long deployments caused by my favorite component, the ingesters. Uh, ingesters receive time series samples from distributors, keep those in memory, and every two hours, um, write them to a long-term storage solution, such as Amazon S3. Uh, when an ingester shuts down because of a holding update, for example, the in-memory sample can be discarded uh, to avoid losing data. So given that, Cortex uses a write-to-write -write log to write all income uh, series samples to a persistent disk uh, until they are flushed to the long-term storage. And when the ingester restarts, the wall is replayed to recover the in-memory state, which takes time. So to improve deployments, we needed a to find a way to update multiple ingesters at the same time. And the ingesters are deployed using a stateful set, which now allows multiple pods to be updated at the same time to the new max and available feature that was recently launched on the 24 release of Kubernetes. However, this didn't work for us because of how we replicate ingesters for high availability purpose. Uh, so at AWS, we replicate services across multiple ASIs uh, to reduce blast radios and ensure continued operation, even if an AZ becomes impaired. And on Cortex, we do that by using a feature called uh, zone-aware replication and topology constraints to hold uh, multiple replicas of each series and distinct ASIs. Uh, besides that, to make sure that we always have uh, a data replicated uh, between different ASIs, we need a, a quorum of two out of three ingesters up at any time. This means that during deployment, we need to guarantee that we are never updating together uh, two or more ingesters that are handling a given time series. So the only way we can update uh, uh, multiple ingesters to improve uh, the deployment times uh, is by updating pods that are in the same AZ only. And this type of control is not uh, uh, possible today using the max and available feature uh, launched with, uh, recently. So to do that, we created our own custom controller for zone-aware updates uh, that can be used by any high available quorum-based application, not just Cortex. At each uh, control loop, the controller watches for state of set and pod events um, to create a map of the pods in each AZ, checking if there are pods that uh, are in the old revision that need to be updated. Uh, and the ZAU controller uh, also allows users to specify the name of uh, Amazon CrowdWatch Alarm that uh, you pause the rollout in case, uh, uh, for example, to prevent deployment from proceeding in case of a canary or test failures. So the controller never updates pods from different uh, zones at the same time, and during deployment, it exponentially increases the number of pods deleted, deploying slowly at first and accelerating as we gain confidence in the new re revision. And the number of pods uh, deleted uh, never exceeds a um, uh, uh, configurable max and available value. We also create an admission web hook controller that extends the pod disru disruption budget concept to allow multiple disruptions only if pods being disrupted are in the same zone. I will not enter in details here because of the time, but the reason why we created this, uh, this ZDB controller was to allow us to safely upgrade multiple nodes uh, at the same time to speed up, for example, uh, the rollout of uh, uh, new OS security patches. Here are some results. We started to use the new controllers in July and August, uh, and since then we have improved substantially uh, our deployment times. 
to finish, I added the link here to our GitHub repository. We open source uh, the controllers last month, and we would love to get feedback uh, from the community. So if you are running Cortex or have a similar high available Quorum-based application, give them a try and let us know. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you.